not look like it. But there's the rules in this place. The most important of which is, the second you're perceived as weak, you already are. And the first patient came in in 1931. Now this hospital was one of the longest running hospitals in St. Asylums to date. It closed in 2010. The asylum got pretty much all demolished in 2018. M mind you, I've been to all the buildings. There's like 20 buildings here. Um, I probably, one of my first times filming YouTube videos, um, like five years ago, I went to a lot of the buildings in this area. So this building originally was built for Rockland and it was used only for the kids. This was like the kids psych ward area. After obviously when this place closed and shut down for good, then Orange is the New Black took it over and they did it for their entire show. You guys are going to see a lot of familiar areas if you watch Orange is the New Black, like the pool, the salon, the, the psych ward area for the inmates here. I mean, it's cool. I mean, check out the outside, for example. If you remember in the show, a lot of the inmates, this is where they chilled outside, right there. And that's probably the same, <laughs> the same bench they all sat on. We'll go outside after. Now, if you guys watch Arms of the New Black, this is definitely one for you. If you don't watch it, but still like the whole asylum and the whole history vibes, you'll like this too. It's definitely a mix of both. Let's go explore this place. I'm going to have to put you on suicide watch. What? <laughs> what? We take swallowers very seriously. You really think I would have eaten a bobblehead if I wanted to kill myself? I'm going to have to shit it out. Go get it down your esophagus. It should travel the rest of the way. Pay close attention to your stool. I don't think I could miss it. Oh, what up, Beth? What you got? Stunts. The paper that says stunts. So there's a lot that was going on here, but check this room out. This was not this thing. We're going to find some things that were used for the movie set, but then stuff that was actually meant to be here. Like, look at these medical cabinets. Again, this weren't used for the set, but... Oh, wait a minute. These are actually their IDs, the actor's IDs. Check this out. Hang on, let me put that down. Check this out. This is obviously Orange is New Black. If you guys love that show, you guys are probably fangirling right now over this. It's a huge popular show. It only ended a year and a half ago. There's now no more seasons. It's done for good. So that's cool. I don't know what that is. That is a word I cannot pronounce. Let's try it, guys. Orthium pantomograph. <laughs> I don't know. It's over here. Now that is fire. This is the third dentist chair I've seen this year. Down in New Orleans, we found a few. This is dope. This is like nice dentist chair. Yeah, this one's untouched. I gotta get some shots. I gotta get my teeth worked on here. Facts. Now I always hated my, getting my teeth done because I've always felt like after watching Final Destination, they're working on your teeth and like your, your mouth is open and they're gonna drop the tool. You're gonna drop an axe and it's gonna go down your throat. I used to always worry about it. Like I just worried every time. Let me tell you something, college. They're gonna treat you nice. And they're gonna use you. And when you're all used up, you ain't gonna be nothing. And as I said, 2010 it closed, there's the last paper. It's always dope when you see that though. It's like kind of like eerie feeling. What do we got here, anything? No. For one of the scenes, they smeared blood on the walls here. And this is the remaining bit of it. I found this paper on the ground. It's good nutrition's. What every teenager needs to know about. Like the stethoscopes, 
Uh, I wonder if this was for the show. No. I don't think it was. Sickle cell. So this hallway is my favorite and probably the best hallway in this whole building. Um, obviously, they, they took this this hallway section that probably was used for like offices or maybe it was actually used for their dorms for the kids, but turned it into the actual inmates room where like their cells were. And it's really dope. P126, it's really cool. But this one, check this out. Let me close the door here. Potentially violent, unpredictable. That's cool. Actually, you can get a good photo of it as well. But inside, there's nothing. <laughs> I mean, that's it. That, that's it. Nothing. Which is how it actually would have been, too, in, in you know, a real psych ward jail. So, it's pretty cool. Outside is nothing but bushes and leaves and spiders and bugs. Nature has taken this building over. But it does get cool down here. I mean, check this out. This is crazy. Psych A. I just, oh man, I just love this. Gate must remain locked at all times. Dope. This whole area is super sick. I mean, it's freaking, it's so cool how they did this. Oh, what the hell? I didn't even know this. The whole elevator system's gone. So now we're at Psych A. It's crazy how they do like film sets. Like, they'll make something from nothing. Like, make it look really cool. Again, the outside. Check this out. The kids had their own little play set down there and they still kept that here. It's actually really nice. You can see the slides and stuff. We'll have to go out there and do some push-ups and get our workout in later. The day room. Well, I don't know what the day room's supposed to be about, but... Hey, there's a cat! That's good enough to go inside the day room. Meow! Yo, this room though has mad stage lights. Could get over there. Whoa, We're centered in a whole new area. I really like this room. These lights though are nice. All different colored lights, blue, red, white, orange. Built in 1970, teamwork. Opened at 1972, end in 2010. You know, if you think about it like that, let's say you were the, one of the people that actually worked here from 1970 all the way until 2010. Your whole life was here. I'm just thinking about workers, but even patients though, they lived there their whole life. It's pretty a weird feeling when it all ends. Dang, someone broke the whole entire window. found a, a movie prop of uh, fake medicine. So pills, fake pills. It's actually really sick. Look at that. Is this, this pool table's all messed up, but dude, check this out. They use M&Ms for some reason as pills. I don't get that. But besides that, check out all these pills. They're all, all you know, they're just straight up fake. This is real though. What is this? I don't know. Actually, yeah, this actually might, yeah, that's, that's, that's real. What is all these though? Just props. This is cool. Plastic. Yeah, straight up. M&M's. <laughs> That's awesome. And speaking of props, this whole thing is a prop. Wait, let's check out the other side. What does it even look like? Wait, so the Med A is fake? Oh, so, oh, inmate restroom. <laughs> Yo, it, I know it is, look. The art of Hollywood, though. Check that out. Dude, they did a good job. What the heck? Look at this door. The door is, dude, it looks like a straight up metal door up front. I swear to God. 
Dude, I really thought this was like straight up like solid like cement, like metal. They did such a good job. This is fake too. This is just this is just wood walls. That paint, that paint though. Now guys, I have to admit, I have never seen Orange the New Black, but I do know a lot of the shots were taken here in the salon. We'll try to get some shots and put it online so you guys can see the comparison of what it looks like now from then. And we'll see what's back here, anything? Nope. Wait, oh, softbox lights. lights. For the show. Right, yeah. Right? No, you're right, yeah. It just lit it up nicely. And then it overexposed nothing. So every room is pretty much like exactly the same and you have to judge what you find by being inside. And even though there's no sign here, this is 100% the art room because when we got inside, we started seeing like, you know, paintings right here. And we're pretty sure a patient made this. We have a signature as an, as an MK down there. You know, paints all over here, that's an indication. You just gotta put clues together, you know what I mean? I mean, to take it all the next further, this is where the paint and things actually were. And then it says it also right here. <laughs> Crayons, stencils, and markers. Look at this though. I mean the freaking tree collapsed. We found the gym. Let's light this bad boy up. Yep. <laughs> this is an awesome gym for, for the kids. Pretty good size. Dude, from the outside of this place, it's pretty small. I wouldn't expect there to even be a gym in here. What is this flooring used for? I wonder what, what kind of scenes they shot here. See so yeah, how they like took the gym floor and replaced it with these tiles? They made a separate room here. Dude, I bet you, I bet you there was like a whole like actual wall over this and they made a little room right here in the center. Yeah, they definitely did something. Well, you think there was a birthday party scene? I can't remember. I think there was something like that. I don't know. What the heck? That's a creepy doll. His name is P.M. Okay. He's a rubber doll. Oh, holla at ya, boy! We got a theater, and this is a, dude, this is a small mini theater. This is the size of something I'd see in my future house for my theater. About this size. It looks way bigger than the shop. Do they? They make it look huge? It's, so much it's probably because they use a really wide lens and they go low. Looks cool. What is this? An active shooter incident management checklist. I guess that's just in case things actually do go wrong here. I didn't see this. All right. <laughs> what is this, chalk? Yeah, it's chalk. <laughs> Yo, deep over here in this little courtyard, there's like a well over there, but the doors are all locked, you can't go. Maybe it's a secret. Maybe the ring's in there. All right, explorers, last but not least, the pool. You got to see the gym, you got to see the theater, and you got to see some of the hallways and where the inmates were all for the TV show. Again, this is the last building that's pretty much left for the Rockland psych board, and the last, and well, the show already ended, so this is it. It's a really cool place. I'm not like filming like crazy, guys. This is pretty much just a walkthrough. I'm ca I actually wasn't gonna film here in the first place, but I really did actually like how it had like everything inside, and it was for the show, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go give it a walkthrough because I think the people that really enjoy um, Orange is the New Black would really actually pref appreciate this video, I think. Okay, Danny, thanks for stating the obvious. Yo, come on. Thanks for stating the obvious, Yo, I Danny. Found this. It was in my <laughs> is it in the show? Yeah, is yeah, it in the show? Oh, so we got it. Dude, we're squatted in here, guys. We're just chilling. I can't believe I missed this. Damn I it. missed it too. This is what's in the news right now. We found a basement. Oh, it's dark. Hang on. It's really dark. It's cold. Dude, these tunnels bring us to the morgue of Rockland. Really? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they were doing something here. Look at this, it says housekeeping supplies with the sign right here. 
kind of weird. My friends are just talking junk, hanging out. That's what we do off camera. This video is not a serious video at all, guys. All right, guys, so right here, it says the crew call is 7 a.m. This is so cool, because I did a TV show, so I, and I had one of these, and I always had to follow the script. Usually it has everyone's names and their phone numbers on it and things like that, at least mine did, and what we were doing for the day today. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, that means in the script had like, literally everything laid out, even the location times would be on here. Let's see. I don't know how people can remember a whole script. Like, you should see my bloopers. There's a lot of bloopers. <laughs> I said bleepers. Okay, Seth, really bending down for that shot. Boy. Oh, no, no, oh. no, no. Oh, God. Flaming Hot Cheetos, literally. You still gotta keep that brawl in. Wait, I didn't even see that episode, because I never watched the show. <laughs> That's cool, though. More scripts and talks. That's awesome. All right, ladies. I've heard your complaints, and I have made arrangements for everybody to get paid. Cash money. Someone on the outside will pick up a cash card, get me the number, and then we'll start depositing funds into your accounts. I'm offering you eight bucks a pair, and I'm holding you all to quality control. There is no cutting corners. And here is one of the most iconic places in the show, Orange is the New Black, was filmed right here, pretty much in that bench. It was a canopy over it on the roof. It's all gone now, but you still got the bench here. I mean, dude, they straight up made this place a prison, you know? They did a good job. And back there, they used to actually run. There was a track. You can barely see it, only in the drone shots, and they would run around there. Again, guys, this is not a serious video. We really are just chilling for the day, and I was just like, I'm gonna film something because we were coming here, because I do explore abandoned without filming a lot of times, just for photos and stuff. I am working on selling prints, uh, on rides above that shop. Link in the description down below. So that's kind of like why we came here and we're just chilling. So, guys, without further ado, thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna head out of here. It's about to get dark in an hour, and I don't like to be in abandoned places at night unless I'm filming Beyond the Dark Ghost Show, which I'm not. So, it is what it is. We did have a good day with everyone, and we just squatted. That's what we do, guys. I mean, literally, our group of friends is just getting together, hanging out, and just doing whatever. Literally. We, just, we like to adventure, not sit on the couch all day and kind of do nothing. So we gotta do the official ending, let's go. So without further ado, rise above, just get out and explore. Peace and thanks for watching.